boy. It's another chapter in the death of passenger rail in America. Amtrak is dropping its north-south service through Texas to save money. A formal announcement is expected later on today. Yesterday, employees learned of the plan to shut down the Texas Eagle route by this November, which could make some interesting rerouting for travelers that need to go north or south. The route includes Dallas-Fort Worth and goes south to San Antonio. The northern stretch is up to St. Louis and all points beyond. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. A class action lawsuit filed in Tennessee this week says six leading makers and distributors of compact discs are conspiring to keep prices high. It takes between one and three bucks to make a CD while you're paying 16 to 20 dollars per disc. EMI, Sony, Warner Brothers, Polygram and other companies are named in the suit. Who can join in the case? Just about everyone has bought a CD at any retail store. So far, customers in California, Pennsylvania, Virginia and Washington State have joined in the effort to get record companies to get real. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. The medical examiner in Suffolk County, New York, has added the names of 37-year-old Pam Lichner of Houston and her 8-year-old daughter Katie to the list of bodies identified. Still unrecovered or unidentified is the body of Lichner's 10-year-old daughter, Shannon. Pam Lichner is a former TWA flight attendant and was one of the founding members of the victims' rights group Justice for All. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. Roosevelt Williams, better known around town as the Grey Ghost, passed away on Wednesday at the age of 92. Williams was born in Bastrop, but lived out most of his long life in Austin, playing small bars like the Continental Club. In recent years, the ghost played to thousands of fans at blues festivals around the world. Friends say the Grey Ghost suffered a stroke last month and had been mostly incapacitated ever since. A memorial service will be held next Tuesday at Houston Tillotson College, the school that awarded the Grey Ghost an honorary doctorate in music. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. Searchers in Louisiana have recovered two badly mangled bodies from the wreckage of a homemade single-engine plane. It apparently crashed in a South Louisiana swamp during bad weather. The CAP says the remains are those of Lieutenant Colonel Henry Chu, a prominent 36-year-old surgeon assigned to Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, and his 5-year-old daughter. The Chu's small plane disappeared from radar Thursday night on a flight from the San Antonio area to Winsboro in North Louisiana. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. You'd think it would be nearly impossible to squeeze 70 years of morning radio into just over 200 pages, but that's exactly what Philip Lieberman has done with his new book, Radio's Morning Show Personalities from the 1920s to the 90s. The book, new from McFarlane and Company, covers everyone from Arthur Godfrey to Don Imus and Howard Stern. In its pages, Lieberman stresses the return of personality, and he raves, quote, Anyone can be hired to spin records or read news copy for a considerably lower salary than a pro. And he says a return to quality programming will occur only when the public demands it. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. <laughs> Don't tell state laughing champ D.C. Nix that this is no laughing matter. It's quite the opposite, thank you. Nix is from San Antonio and will help judge this year's Ripley's Believe It or Not Oddest Laugh in Texas contest. The Texan with the best chuckle, guffaw, chortle, snicker, or any combination thereof will walk off with a $350 prize. Texans have until midnight tonight to call Ripley's Laugh Lines in San Antonio, home of the Ripley's Museum, and leave a recorded message of the laugh. The contest will be held May 8th in Grand Prairie, Texas. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. If you were thinking about going out for dinner at Baby Acapulco this weekend, think again. The Barton Springs location suffered heavy damage from a fire yesterday. Fire department officials were on the scene for half the night trying to piece together details of how the fire started. It could have been triggered by a possible gas leak, but that is still unconfirmed. No word yet on the amount of damages, but the rear deck, kitchen, and dining area suffered major damage from the fire. At this time, it's still unknown when Baby Acapulco will be open for business again. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. Some Austin drivers call it the overpass from hell. 
Others just call it a traffic nightmare. Now the Texas Department of Transportation has assembled a task force to decide the future of the dreaded 183 Mopac access ramp. The team made a formal recommendation today to the district engineer to permanently close the ramp. That's TxDOT spokesman John Hurt. The value engineering team says the decision to recommend closing the ramp was due to a number of factors, mainly because it's unsafe. With several alternate routes available to motorists, the VE team feels the ramp has outlived its purpose. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News. When a performer dies young, we wonder what would have happened had his life been longer. On what would have been his 55th birthday, we can ask that question about Texan Richie Valens, who was a teen idol until his music career and his life were cut short by a plane crash at age 17. It was an especially tragic crash because it also claimed the lives of two other Texas musicians, Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper. Here's Richie in a radio ad for his last concert in Clear Lake, Iowa, February 1959. Hi, everybody. This is Richie Valens. I will be on the Winter Dance Party coming your way very shortly. I will be having a ball singing for you, and I hope to see you all real soon. By the way, hope you have been hearing a lot from my latest Delphi release, La Bamba and Don. Valens was immortalized in the 1988 motion picture La Bamba. Allison Fox, 590 KLBJ Radio News.